since August 15, 2021, um, the life of Afghan women has been collapsed. Afghanistan has been a prison for Afghan women to live. Uh, Afghan women um, are living through the darkest period of their time. Uh, they have been banned from all walks of life and Taliban has imposed the most misogynist and inhuman and barbaric policies, uh, guidelines um, uh, issued, you know, uh, to impose on women all these restrictions. So definitely the life for women in Afghanistan is going uh, like hell and women in Afghanistan uh, right now facing uh, not only humanitarian financial crisis, but the violence, discrimination and intimidation uh, every day, which make life for them really difficult. And as a result, of course, uh, all of women like women has been banned to go for work, to get education, there has been restriction and access to health uh, care. There has been violence like killing, uh, torturing, harassment, intimidation of women protesters on the street that they were asking for their basic rights, which is freedom and uh, rights to work, rights for education and rights, you know, uh, for um, having access to all uh, facilities of life like healthcare and others. So um, definitely I would say that Afghanistan is now like a big prison for its work. Uh, the first part is that all the revolutionary and all uh, the real women resistance in Afghanistan, do you know what's going on in Rojava? Uh, the crime there and uh, um, the, 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 the resistance and the movement who is there and lead by uh, women. So we women um, are uh, like we Afghan women activists and revolutionary movements. We are inspired by the Kurdish movement. The Kobani Lilanists have been proved to the world that uh, women are not only, you know, the second citizens, and they are not. Uh, the one who has always to obey men and sit at home, but they can fight shoulder by shoulder with men on, and they have been, you know, proof that women can fight even, you know, as a front line, you know, when it comes to the freedom of the country, because women of the country have been most oppressed than the man. So women took this a step forward and Kubani uh, are the example of women movement in the world. Uh, Kubani women have proved to the world that women are even powerful than the man when it comes to resistance movement, when it comes to freedom, when it comes to uh, emancipation of women. So no man or no other force can uh, you know, attain um, freedom for women. It's women themselves who has to step forward and fight for their rights. And this has been proved, you know, uh, with the struggle Kubani women, you know, did. And we as a woman of Afghanistan and I myself as an activist have always followed the resistance movement of Kurdistan, particularly Rojawa, Afrin and other parts of Kurdistan. And I'm inspired by them. And I always support them and will support them and will learn from their experiences how to you know put and practice those experiences